I have quite a different video for you today. This is actually meant for my CarX community. If you didn't know, CarX is a game that uh, I stream two to three days a week over on Twitch. CarX is primarily for drifting, but my community, which has shown a very strong interest in racing, in the game or also some mini games that we've come up with so that's sort of what i've been doing more than anything else in the game you can tune all of your vehicles maybe not so much the engine specifically but a lot with the suspension wheels braking so on in this video i'm going to be sharing two different tunes for my lamborghini one being for people who would like to use the kino mods specifically the motor and gearing, and then one tune that is specifically just Car X. I'm Dad, and hopefully I don't waste your time. Before we get started, quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Car X Street, coming out sometime on PC in the next six years. Helping me with the Kino tune and the suspension is another Car X streamer, Frumpy. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you enjoy this video and have some fun with these races. For those that didn't know, Kino allows you to motor swap any vehicle that is in the game and also allows you to change the gearing. And the gearing is a huge difference that we ended up finding out, especially when it comes to top speed. Because in cars like the Lamborghini, at high speeds, when you shift, it actually drops your speed down by two or three miles per hour, which, if you're on the end of a long straightaway, really prevents you from hitting possible higher speed because you just drop down two or three miles per hour. When it came to gearing for these cars, Frumpy and I would always do the Milton track on the back straight, which was longer than the front. We kept fiddling with the gears little by little till we tried to hit a top speed, something consistent. Once we found a good top speed, that when we would make sure that the rest of the track, we were hitting the speeds that we need to be hitting and accelerating where we need to accelerate. Go. Just for a quick reference, Frumpy and I did a quick drag race just to show you guys how much quicker you can be even compared to the Lamborghini. One thing that Frumpy and I learned over the long period of time that we did tuning these cars over and over and over and making small changes constantly is that it's never going to end. We're constantly going to be making these changes. So instead of trying to perfect it, we decided let's just get this video out there. Let's share what we found, share our tunes and just let people run with it from there. That said, what I'm really trying to say is uh don't give us too much of a hard time if you find a slight difference is better we just haven't gotten to that yet also for both the kino and non-kino tunes the gearing is also can be done in many different ways you can uh shorten up ge certain gears you can lengthen other ones this is just what we've found works best for us individually also, specifically on the Milton track, not for drag racing, not for drifting, not for any other track. We specifically designed it for this track because it has the tight corners. It also has the long straights. All right. So here it is. Here's what you've been waiting for, or here's what you skipped over everything else to see. I'm just going to move out of the way. I'm going to show you both tunes all on the screen at once. Here you go. As far as the tuning goes, the choices that we made are very different. For one, on the non-Kino tune, we decided to only use four gears. And as I mentioned earlier, it's because on the long straights, when we were shifting into fifth, sixth gear farther down, it was dropping by two, three, and even four miles per hour on that back straight, not allowing us to even hit 210. And Frumpy wants to make one quick point about his Kino gearing. Uh, basically, first gear is a little long. You're not going to get that super speedy launch that everybody else usually gets in their race cars, but it's long enough where you can dump it down into first 
into a corner and still have that high-end torque to get back out. Keep in mind that I do stream this quite often. Feel free to jump into my lobbies, jump into the stream, chat with me. Hopefully you like this. Hopefully it makes you faster on the track and allows you to enjoy racing in Car X Drift. By the way, for those of you that are like, it's a drift game. What are you doing? It's called Car X Drift Racing. <laughs> 